The story coming into today's game. How will Leaf fans react to John Tavares playing at Scotiabank Arena after that ridiculous uh, fiasco there in New York? And the, the, the reception was fantastic for John Tavares. They announce him in the starting lineup. Everyone gives him a standing ovation. They cheer him loud and proud. There's the, People are making signs saying, we love you, John, all that great stuff. Making him feel loved in his hometown. Because that's what it's all about, people. And the great thing about this, we've, we talked about it in the last game, in the last video. Yeah, you lost that game by quite a bit and you didn't look good. Yeah, I get that. But it's how you rebound after a loss that shows the character of your squad. The Leafs come out today against the Buffalo Sabres. And do they get some lucky bounces? Yeah, pretty much. But in the end, Leafs win 5-2. 4-2 at the empty netter by Mitch Marner. Uh, over the Buffalo Sabres at Scotiabank Arena. And it takes less than five minutes into the first period. A point shot from Marinson gets tipped by Marner. And uh, Linus Olmark's kind of scrambling around. Lou's puck finds who? John Tavares! As he buries it past the sp- sprawled out. It looks like Garrett Sparks in the net. Linus Olmark. And you see the emotion in John Tavares. He's fired up for that goal. And it puts the Leafs on top. 1-0. The second consecutive game, the Leafs have scored first. The problem the problem that has occurred, though, in that last game, the Leafs scored one, they gave up six unanswered goals. Not even two minutes after that, Jason Pominville ties the game. We're like, okay, that didn't take long. And a minute 34 after that, they take the lead. We're like, this is like the Islander game all over again. However, it is Buffalo, and we have beat them a few times this year. So the feel is a little bit different uh, in the game today. Late in the first period, Morgan Riley at the point just floats one on net. And when I say I mean I mean he was looking for a tip. That's what he was going for, and it squeezes through Linus Olmark barely trickles over the line, but it's in the net, and it's a tied game with 20 seconds left in the first period. Now, Austin Matthews and Ron Hainsey grab assists on that goal. By the way, on the Tavares goal, Martyr and Martin Marinson grab assists. And the Leafs have tied the game at two, heading into the second, uh, heading into the first intermission. Shots on goal, uh, 16, or sorry, excuse me, 16 to 10 in favor of the Leafs. So, you're tied after one period of play, which has shown to be a positive. And you've outshoot, uh, shot the Buffalo Sabres 16-10. I think it's a very successful period. You got to move on. And you got to come out in the second and third the way they had uh, in every game except for the last one against the, in the, uh, against the Islanders. And nothing really occurs in the second period until just about five minutes left. Let's, let's flash back to, what, a couple, uh, last week or something. Trade deadline. Leafs trade Par Lindholm to the, to the Winnipeg Jets in exchange for Nick Patan. Patan. You guys can go, you guys can go nuts about that. Nick, Nick Patan. I'm going to go with Patan. And, uh, the story about Patan is that he, you know, a great young talent. He's 23 years old. He's a great young, small player again, but... He Look, we're playing Tyler Ennis in the fourth line now. Why not give Nick Baton a chance? And late in the second period, Trevor Moore does a great job down low, winning the loose puck battle, and centers it to whom? Nick Baton streaking down the center of the ice, and he buries it past Linus Allmark to give the Leafs the lead, which ends up being the game-winning goal, his first goal of the year, First game as a Leaf, and first goal and point as a Leaf. And Trevor Moore continues to play some pretty solid hockey. His fifth point in 11 games on the fourth line for Trevor Moore. He's been fantastic. uh, Tyler Ennis gets the night off today. But you know what? I'm not opposed to it. I love the looks of Nick Baton. I I, I liked it there tonight. And Trevor Moore has impressed the living snot out of me from, from the get-go. And Frederick Goche has kind of solidified himself as that fourth-line center. So Tyler Ennis, as much as he's been fantastic for this team, 
I think he'll play more than Baton, as, at least for right now. I think Baton's going to get another opportunity because he made most of his chances uh, in the game. How many minutes did uh, uh, Nick Baton play? Uh, he played... Uh, where are we here? Only 7 minutes and 45 seconds, yet he buried a goal. Making most of his opportunities. Now, game ain't over yet, though. It's only a one-goal game. Four minutes after that, the puck bouncing well for the Leafs, like I said, in the game. Nikita Zaitsev, just under a minute to play in the, in the second period. The puck is along the boards, and he just kind of fires it towards the net. It hits the skate or the leg of the defenseman in front, and it goes in past line of Solmark. The Leafs got a 4-2 lead. Zaitsev assisted by Marner and John Tavares, and the Leafs now have, like we said, a 4-2 advantage after two periods of play. Second period shots on goal, seven apiece. So you scored two goals on seven shots in the second period. They made most of their opportunities. You get a lucky bounce, you'll take it. So you guys, you look at the you look at the first three goals. I mean, not very pretty. Um, a sloppy point shot from Marinson, uh, deflected by Marner, and then it's a, a slop fest from there. And Tavares finds the loose puck and buries it into the empty net. And then you got the uh, Morgan Riley goes a floater from the point. It just squeaks through. The Baton goal was nice. I do like that. It was a beautiful shot from Nick Baton. And then the Zaitsev goal was a shot off their defenseman. So, not, not the prettiest of goals. But in the end, it's a 4-2 Leaf lead. And that's all that matters. Third period, you got to close the game strong. Yeah, the Leafs really don't. Shots on goal in the third period... 20 to 9 in favor of the Buffalo Sabres. And you know what? Frederick Anderson, as much as he had a, a shaky first period and a shaky first little bit, let, let in go, two goals on six shots to start the game. Not the way he wanted to do it. But the rest of the game, he dialed it in, made all save, seven saves in the second, and made all 20 in the third as the Leafs pick up the victory. By the way, Mitch Marner grabs an empty netter, his 23rd goal of the year. John Tavares and Jake Muzzin grabs an assist on, on the empty netter as the Leafs win 5-2 over the Buffalo Sabres. And Frederick Anderson, guys, two goals on 37 shots. Marner and Tavares both with three-point nights. That is so nice to see from those guys because, you know, Mitch Marner has been a little bit quiet as of late. Uh, he's, been, he's been okay, right? I mean... He had the one spell. Okay, he's been pretty good over the last three games, really. But before that, you know, he went through a spell where he wasn't really doing a whole lot. And he, he was kind of nowhere to be found a little bit. But now in he's got what? Um, let me do the math here. Seven points in his last three games as Mitch Marner. He's been good. And, and John Tavares, I mean, if like, Mitch Marner's doing well, you, you kind of assume John Tavares is doing pretty darn good, too. Um, and guys, like we said, the important thing is that after that emotional loss against the New York Islanders, they came back with a victory tonight against the Buffalo Sabres at home. All right. So the next game for the Leafs, they, they travel out west, Western Canada road trip, uh, go the Leafs as on Monday, they take on the, the, the Calgary Flames at the Saddle Dome. What do they call it now? It's not just not the uh, Scotiabank Saddle Dome. So we have the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, the Scotiabank Saddle Dome there in Calgary, and the Flames are one heck of a hockey team. 41, 16, and seven. They've won seven straight games. They're firing on all cylinders. They're playing some great, great hockey. They're first in the Western Conference. That's that's a force to be reckoned with over there in the Western Conference. Now, how will the Leafs fare uh, uh, against the Calgary Flames on Monday? We're going to have to wait and see how that all plays out. And uh, Game 2 of the, of the West Coast trip uh, is on Wednesday as the Leafs uh, head to Vancouver to take on the Canucks. Anderson and Markstrom are the expected starters in the game. And then on, and then uh, not till Saturday, the Leafs play in Edmonton, taking on McDavid and the Oilers again. So the, for the, what, was it a week, a week ago? Oh, about a week and a half um, between meetings between the Oilers and Leafs. All right? So, you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoy the video, and you guys enjoyed the victory there tonight. Smack that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. Who do you, th you think of this game? Who is your MVP? Would you give it to Frederick Anderson first? Whoa, focus that. Thank you. Uh, would you give it to Frederick Anderson for his amazing third period? Would you give it to a guy like Mitch Marner or John Tavares who had three-point nights? Let me know what you guys thought about this game. What were you impressed with? What were you not so impressed with? I want to hear what you guys have to say. 
And Evan and I will talk to you guys podcast edition sometime this week. We haven't really discussed as of yet, though. Links are in the description for the podcast channel, guys, and for the podcast itself on iTunes. Twitter is also down below. Follow up, send me a DM, do all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys Blue Jays edition. I've set a day in stone. I know it was a little bit longer than we would have liked. But Wednesday is kind of kind of be the time when I do the that weekly update when it comes to the Blue Jays. All right, so this upcoming Wednesday is when I'll be doing the first spring training games, uh, I guess, review uh, for the Blue Jays. We'll break down the games and what happened, who's been impressive, who hasn't been, that kind of stuff. That'll be on Wednesday, uh, probably Wednesday afternoon, all right? And uh, as for the Toronto Raptors, their next game is tomorrow evening as um, they are obviously heading to Detroit, taking on Dwayne Casey. And the Detroit uh, Pistons, 6 p.m. tip-off there at Air Canada West. It's going to be jam-packed with, with Raptor fans. I love this. I love having an away game, but it's pretty much a home game. It's a lot of fun to watch. And I would love to see the Raptor team build on their last two victories against Boston and Portland and get a victory there in Detroit. And as for the Leafs, guys, like we said, they take on the Calgary Flames in Calgary, Frederick Anderson, Mike Smith are the expected stars. It might be Dave Riddick. I'm not sure who it's going to be in net for the Flames on Monday night. All right, 9 p.m. Pick, uh, puck drop. I don't know what I was getting at there. All right, at the Scotia Bank Saddle Dome. They're in Calgary, Alberta. Leaves for a first game of the three-game Western Canada road trip. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you guys then.